Thank you. Hi, Amy. My name's Sarah. First off, I'd like to say thank you guys for being such a big musical inspiration. And I've noticed that your sound and your lyrics have grown so much, but yet you're still keeping the unique of sound. Where do you see it going in the future? Ooh, that's a really tough one. Don't give me any leeway to start off with an easy one or anything. Um, Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a hard, it's a hard, the punchline's a hard answer. I'm not really sure where we're headed. I always want to keep a totally open mind so that, you know, wherever your heart goes, the music can go. I think that's the important thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've grown a ton. Um, since the beginning, for sure, it's been over 10 years for me. So, um, <laughs> thanks. I always want to be open to grow and to evolve and, and to change completely. Thanks. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I can hand the mic over to whoever, too, if you have a big crush on Tim or something. Hi, Amy. Uh, my name is Alfredo, and uh, you just played my favorite song, uh, The Only One. Yes. And I was wondering, what was the inspiration for that song? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Um, it's weird. I think it was inspired by a lot of things. The lyrics were um, really about a lot of my youth, where I felt like I was in a very small town. I was in Little Rock, Arkansas, where a band formed and everything. Um, and I felt very different from everyone around me. Uh, it became really apparent in uh, places like school and church. Um, I just felt like nobody got what I really wanted to hear, I guess. Um, You want the truth. You want the real answers. You want the meaning of life. And you're just getting spoon-fed stuff that's that's easy to swallow. So um, I don't know. I guess the song is about growing up and realizing you have to kind of find the answers on your own and not just listen to everybody who you think knows what they're talking about. Um, (laughs) And... Um, but yeah, Terry and I just kind of just, I don't know, wrote music till very, very early in the mornings when we were writing the open door. And I remember just writing forever and being so excited about that song and thinking it was the first single and like, it's the best song in the world. And I don't know, eating a lot of food and just being stupid. So, um, we love the song very much. I'm glad it's your favorite. (laughs) Hi. Can she talk? Everyone. Now? Hi. Okay. Hi. My name's Melissa, Hi, and Melissa. my question is for everyone. Okay. I want to know what is your most prized possession, and what is the story behind it? <laughs> what's your most prized possession, and what's the story behind it? Troy, why don't you go first? Thank you very much. I'm very nervous. Um, Not as nervous as I am. My most prized possession, I guess, is my kid. I got a two-year-old, and he's the world to me. Uh, I don't want to go. I really hate taking my... No, I have plenty of those. <laughs> my most prized possession is the band and my friends and y'all. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you very much. Um, my most prized possession is my daughter. And uh, the story behind that basically is when two people get together. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I don't think I need thank the you guys. person. Actually, you, all you guys are. So. <laughs> wow, I just splashed water all over the floor. Um, what, Terry? You have to talk? Are you ready? No. Oh, you want me to stall? Yeah. Um... Like such a loser. Um, My most prized possession. I don't know. Um, Let me think about it. I know I should say my husband. I want to say my husband. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I know that's it. I don't want to be cheesy. I just got married six months ago, so I'm still kind of on cloud nine about it. (laughs) Ha ha, you have to go. Play music. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Amy. Hey. My name is Amy. 
Hi. Cool. Lynn Hi. Hansen, same middle, first name, sorry. Okay. Anyway, um, if you did not pursue your love of music and your incredible talent, best talent ever, um, what would you, what other pursue of passions or interests you have that you would like to follow instead? We do now. Okay. No music at all involved. I, cool. No, wait, I'm asking. Is that okay. if I can't no, have I like, I like the contingencies. That's great. No music involved. Okay. Music involved? Well, if it just wasn't Evanescence, I guess. Um, I love kids. I'd probably be a music teacher or like choir professor or something. I, you know. If it wasn't music at all, yes. okay. I'd be a chef. Can you cook? Well, I would. I love cooking. I've learned I love cooking almost as much as I love making music. It's so fun for me. Wow. I'm totally trying to talk to the cool people at the Food Network and get my own show. Yahoo! Hi guys. Hey, my name's Kelsey, and I just wanted to start by saying I was at the show at the Greek on Saturday, and I thought you guys were amazing as usual. Wow, awesome. Okay, so my question is that I know that you design a lot of the clothes you wear on stage, and I was just wondering if you were ever thinking about maybe designing your own clothing line, and if so, what would it be called? Uh, um, actually, I sort of. I don't know. I love fashion and I enjoy doing that. I started kind of like doing my own sewing when I was a young teenager because I couldn't find what I wanted. And it was like I had ideas, but they didn't exist. Um, but I don't know if I'd want to do that for a living. Like mm-hmm. music is my true passion. That's sort of just like an accessory to it. So I don't know. I think it's really cool when artists can show you all the different things that they can do. And I respect that. And I don't see that it's impossible that I would ever do something different than just music. But, um, I just think that, I don't know, making music is a lot more fulfilling and meaningful than just making clothes. So Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really feel like I would do that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dylan, and my question is, do you guys have any musical influences that would shock us as fans? Probably. <laughs> Tim just said, right, said Fred. I don't know if that's his or he thinks that's mine. Sure. No, it's not. Um, I'm surprised. I love Marvin Gaye. Big time influenced by Michael Jackson. Um, the man's a genius. He's made so many great songs and done so many things that were crazy and daring, and everyone's imitated it ever since. Um, let's see what else. What's, what's shocking? What were we listening to on the bus? This stuff was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If the, I don't know what's shocking. I like so many things from so many different genres. I don't listen to music uh, that sounds just like us all the time. I don't know if anything really sounds just like us, but I don't know. I love Portishead, and I guess that's predictable. And I I love Smashing Pumpkins, and I guess that's predictable. But, um, yeah, not to say that I, you know, didn't get my fill of the Chronic, too. I mean, I did. Hey. Okay. Hi, I'm Gigi. How's it going? Uh, Okay. Um, I've Okay, you're always complimenting on how good your shows are, but has anything bad ever happened in, like, in embarrassing moments? Oh, my God. <laughs> Too many to count. I feel like we mess up all the time. Actually, the other day, like, I mean, like, less than a week ago, we had a show, and we were talking about how much we messed up this one part. And we were talking about how funny it is. Like, I've never seen, like, you know, a band you big-time admire, like the police or, like, I don't know, whatever huge band, like, that you go to see in arena, like, mess up like we have before and i was saying it to the guys like right i mean have you like surely you've seen those bands mess up like this and they're like no like (laughs) so uh we definitely mess up um and you just have to kind of go with it i think that's part of what playing a live show is all about is learning how to just go oh forget it you know it's live that's the point if people want to just come hear the record i mean they wouldn't come they just listen to the record so um yeah you just have to be yourself and be comfortable with that not worry about messing up Hey. Hi, my name is Vanessa Cruz. Um, my question to you is, if you were to write a book, what would it be about? <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, um. 
Just kidding. I don't know. That's too hard. I don't know if I have an answer for that. I guess, um, I don't know. If I was going to write a book, it'd probably be about all this stuff. This is the craziest thing that's ever happened in my life is this whole band thing. So probably just some sort of a <laughs> autobiography about the craziness of the music industry. I didn't say I was going to do it. I said if. Yeah.